Just too lazy to try has been smashing it. Go and subscribe to that guy's channel. He doesn't need my fucking help because he's killing it. But still, go and subscribe to that fucking guy's channel. He's been absolutely killing it recently. Ridiculously killing it. The content has gone up in levels. Um, he's doing some really good little videos and whatnot. So if you like comedy stuff and you like more commentary style content, then make sure you check out my guy, Too Lazy to Try. He's absolutely amazing. So let's check out this video regarding Bobby Lee because I have some interesting points to add. All right, so on the most recent episode of Tiger Belly, Bobby Lee brings up how when he did The Tonight Show back in the early 2000s, I believe, he told a joke and another comedian stole that joke and told it again on The Tonight Show a couple years later. And it sounds like Bobby is mad about it, but he never brought this up to the comedian. He never talked about it. He never said anything publicly about it until recently on the Tiger Belly podcast yesterday when he brought this up and he said the guy's name, but he bleeped it out. But you can hear the beginning of it and the end of it, so you can kind of guess. A lot of people are trying to speculate on who it could be. And there's two comedians that I think are the most likely suspects here. And one of them is Jay Moore, who coincidentally I just talked about in yesterday's video. Because back in the day, he kind of stole a story from Bert Kreischer. And he just doesn't really have the best reputation. But also, people... You know what's, you know what's funny? Now I, now, I can, now I can kind of understand why people like Amy Schumer are the way they are. Amy Schumer may be a joke thief, but the way they go at Amy Schumer, you would think no other male comedian still jokes. Jay Moore has already got one catalogued, documented instance of stealing jokes. Now they're suspecting him of a second, but you don't hear them talk about Jay Moore with the same level of disgust and flipping aggression as they do with fucking Amy Schumer, you know? That's why sometimes I can understand why some of these women in comedy can feel like there's a bit of a double standard. Those guys aren't attacking another guy who steals jokes just as much as Amy Schumer. Hell, look at the guy that fucking told that fucking fake story about 9-11, about being in the Twin Towers. He doesn't get as much fucking stick um, from his friends than Amy Schumer does. Yeah, I know he admitted what he said, but what he said was pretty fucked up. If a woman would have said that, that she was in the fucking Twin Towers, but she actually wasn't, they would absolutely crucify her. These guys are absolutely full of shit. I think Bobby could be talking about Joe Coy because Bobby made it sound like he's also kind of friendly with this person, like they've hung out a lot and Joe's done his podcast like three or four times. So this is another possibility. I'll play the clip here so you guys can hear it and decide for yourselves. And then I'll talk about it a little more afterwards. I had a friend do, I did a joke on The Tonight Show. <laughs> he did the same exact joke two years later on The Tonight Show. <laughs> Your joke? Yeah. Parallel thinking, parallel thinking. Think about it. Parallel thinking. <laughs> and I never said anything to him. <laughs> what? Was you, right even now? now? Bobby, Bobby, still now. Bobby, I've never you, said anything Bobby, to him. Bobby, you don't seem like the guy that would let it go. No, I, I, no, it's what, in my heart. What, you want to get it. You oh, got it. Oh, rage in my heart. I'm going to get revenge for Monday. Let's call him. Let's call him right now. Let's yeah, I can tell right you, but you have to peep it out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Bro, just as an FYI, black people, we age lovely, isn't it? This guy's probably in his 50s or something. Look at him. Look how amazing he looks. Look how amazing he looks. He actually looks younger than me. You know what I mean? Fucking incredible. Big up blacks. Oh! I was at the Addison Improv. You know how <laughs> when you're at the Improv, they tell you who's coming up? Okay. Right? So they used that clip of his <laughs> coming up on this thing. And I was using that clip. Hilarious. <laughs> right? So I, I watched it. <laughs> I, I was in the back of the I wish also, isn't that a bit weird? Imagine being at a comedy... Honestly, comedy clubs are strange. So there's a comedy club called Addison Improv that Bobby Lee's saying plays clips of a comedian's other set on the, what, screens before they come up. Imagine going to a gig and seeing like a video of a previous gig of a band before you see them. Or going to see a DJ and they play a mix of his or hers before they get on stage. Like, what the fuck is that about? Honestly, comedy industry is so bizarre. They're playing clips of somebody before they get on stage. Like, you made me remember him from such hits as Tonight Show, Two Girls, One Cup. It's like, fucking hell, man. Turn it down, lads. I can see his face. <laughs> I know. Wait a and, and something that happened in my eyes. Like, when I, you know, you know, <laughs> like I was a reptile alien or whatever. Yeah, right, right, right. And I went into like a rage. Right. But I, I was going to call him, but I was like, why? It's already on TV. Bobby always gets. Bobby always gets treated the worst by comedians, isn't it? They fucking bully him. They beat him up. They steal his jokes. They try and fuck his girl. And he's still there laughing. Do you think Bobby has a little bit of an embarrassment fetish? Do you think he likes to get kind of like bullied in a way? Is this weird to say? 
you think he kind of enjoys getting bullied? Because at least he, when he's getting bullied, it means he's like still important, you know? Like people still need him. He's still somebody. I don't know. Do you know what I mean? Like there's maybe some sort of sense of feeling like you're a part of something and that you're a necessary part of the community when people are bullying you all the time. You know? What do you think? Because it's strange. He doesn't stand up for himself. He doesn't draw a line. He just lets people trample over him again and again and again. Like he's had so many of these kind of stories over the years. If you listen to Tiger Belly or his previous pods, you would have heard Bobby complain about the treatment he gets from fellow comedians all the time. Every single time it seems to be happening. Why does he keep letting this stuff happen? No one else does this to anybody else. So weird. Uh, Pio Bella says his problem is he tries to bully people under him so people above him do the same thing. Oh, you think so? So is Bobby Lee known as somebody that bullies his openers and people? People like that. And people coming up and open micers. Is that true? I didn't know that was a fact. I had no idea that he bullies his openers. To be fair, even if I was an open micer, I would never let someone that looks like Bobby Lee bully, bully me. I'm sorry. Like, it's not happening. Do you know what I mean? I, it, I would be offended if someone like Bobby Lee tried to bully me. Do you know what I mean? It'd be like, yo, you, of all people. <laughs> like, how dare you? <laughs> You've never... He already did it on TV. What the fuck am I going to do after that? You've seen him so many times. Yeah. I, know, I, know. So I let it go. I let it go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love you though, dude. I love him. <laughs> but then, but back, to David, back, back to David Arnold though. So okay. David Arnold. Um... Yeah, so originally when I first heard this, I was pretty sure he was talking about Jay Moore, probably because I was just talking about him a lot recently and how people are accusing him of being a joke thief. And also I saw this, I guess in a memoir, he admitted that he stole an entire routine from somebody's act. When he Come on, man. He admitted he's a fucking joke thief and you guys are making compilations about Amy Schumer. Give this guy the same fucking energy. For fuck's sake. Give this Jay Moore guy the same fucking energy. Please, for the love of God. What is this shit going on here, man? This comedy world is like very, very selective politicking, as they say out there in LA. What well, one for this, man? He was on SNL back in the day. And then also I looked up Bobby's Tonight Show appearance that I think he was referring to. And it was from April 2002. And then I looked up Jay Moore's Tonight Show appearance. It was December 2002. And Bobby said it was a few years later, but I don't know. You know, he's probably not the best. Imagine being on the fucking Jay Leno show back in the day, right? And now suddenly you're fucking, you know, getting your airtime by being on Brenda Shorbs and Brian Callen's Fire and the Kid. Jay Moore's star has really fallen though a little bit. And I wonder why. He was, it seems, but again, I don't know nothing about Jay Moore. I only know him through basically Burt Kreischer stories, but he seemed to be fairly well regarded in the industry at one time. He seemed to be very popular at one time. And then what? Now all of a sudden he's fucking having to rely on Brendan and Brian Callen. God almighty. The entertainment industry is brutal, isn't it? It always reminds you where exactly you're at. At one point you're doing TV shows, you've got your specials on big networks, and then suddenly you're on the you're on T Fat K. <laughs> you know what I mean? The entertainment industry is fucking brutal. Wherever you're at is where you're at. You know what I mean? It's the time. So maybe it was just less than a year later. But the more I started listening to this, like I listened to it back a few more times and it started to sound more like he's saying Joe Coy. And like I said, he's somebody that Bobby is friendly with. He's done the podcast a few times. And oh no, Joy Coy. Yo, has, if, hasn't this guy tried to fuck Kalila? That's the rumor, right? Bobby Lee said um, some guy in comedy tried to reach out to him to ask permission to get with Kalila or to take her on a date or something. And you got really pissy about it. And everyone was hypothesizing that it's most probably Joy Coy or somebody along that kind of lines. Or maybe it was like Eddie Griffin or Eddie Griffiths. No, so who's that other, who's that who's that guy? Um, the Indian guy, the Indian comedian, the big one. I think they said someone like him. But imagine if it's Joy Coy. Joy Coy tries to fuck your girl and then he takes your joke. <laughs> that is getting emasculated. That is somebody fucking cucking you. That's somebody slapping his fucking schlong all over your face. I'm going to take your whole routine and I'm going to fuck your girl. <laughs> and I'm going to take your podcast. Move out the chair. <laughs> Let me sit down here. Yo, comedians are fucking awful. I don't think Bobby would bring it up to him because he's not that kind of person. Like, Bobby clearly thinks about it still, but I don't think he'd ever bring this up to Joe in person. But at least Bobby finally put it out there after 20 years. 
and whoever he's talking about i doubt they'll even remember and i'm sure they'll deny it because it's been so long they'll probably be like dude i don't know what you're talking about that was too long ago i don't steal jokes you know i doubt they would actually accept this at all but maybe bobby finally worked up the courage to confront him about this also he probably didn't want to confront them back in the day because he was working with carlos mencia who was stealing a bunch of jokes so he can't be calling out other people for stealing jokes if his boss is doing that so i also looked up joe coy's appearance on the tonight show and he was on there in january of 2006 oh, no. which is almost four years after bobby's appearance but again maybe bobby's timeline is off here and there is one other person that I saw people mentioning, but this sounds like more of a stretch. Jimmy Carr. It didn't really sound like he said that name, but Jimmy did make an appearance on The Tonight Show in 2003, like a year after Bobby's appearance. So that timeline matches up a little better, but it doesn't sound like he really said Jimmy Carr. You know, listening back to it, I'll play it again here. The most likely one it sounds like I'd say is Joe Coy. And with their reaction to it, I feel like if he said Jay Moore, they probably wouldn't have cared as much. That doesn't seem as interesting. He's not really a big name anymore. People don't talk about him that much. But Joe Coy, you know, he's still a big time comedian. He's doing podcasts. He's been on Bobby's podcast. It sounds like they're friendly with each other. So I just think that name would get a stronger reaction. And I just feel like that's probably the most likely person here. So maybe him and Bobby could talk about it and work things out. That'd be cool if Bobby actually can. Man, this is absolutely hilarious. I swear to God, absolutely fucking hilarious, man. Bobby's always getting cucked out by these fucking comedians. They don't have any respect for the guy whatsoever. And he seems to be such a genuine, nice soul. You know, if you don't, you know, need him in some regards, maybe. But he seems to be cool. But comedians seem to take all their fucking enjoyment out of fucking reminding him of how lowly he is compared to them. They're always fucking putting their nuts on their fucking face. It's absolutely weird, man. But anyway, most likely it's Joy Coy. If it is him, he's absolute savage. He's out here fucking comedians. Get asking, asking a comedian for permission to fuck his girl and also taking his joke about permission and doing it on the same show, you know, verbatim. You have to stand. You have to blood clot stand. <laughs> oh, these guys are fucking awful. They're the worst.